what's up everybody welcome back to my channel so i'm starting this intro um out with this look that i did for halloween i've done this look before but i wanted to uh, kind of redo it again different eyeshadow and i actually wanted to post this on youtube because a few years ago i posted it only on instagram so and this look is inspired by the one and only crispy i hope you guys know her um if you don't i'll go ahead and leave her youtube down at the bottom she's such an amazing youtuber and i just love her so much and all her content she's amazing so if you guys want to see how i got this halloween inspired look and eyeshadow look then keep on watching bye guys all right guys so the first thing i'm gonna get is the makeup revolution conceal and define in the shade c5 and we're just gonna use that as a primer and blend that out i'm going in with the morphe e17 brush and we're going in with the shade noir we're just gonna place that all throughout our crease and just pack that shade on don't be afraid to pack this color on the next brush i'm gonna go in with is morphe n505 and we're just gonna blend out the edges of where we place that black shadow down and just remember the key to this look is just to keep blending all the shades you want everything to mesh well together especially with black Taking that same brush, I'm gonna go in with Rustic and we're gonna add some color to the crease to um, the edges to blend that black out in our crease. And I also did mix this with Rustic and Burnt Orange so I would mix those two colors together. Taking the Alamore Cosmetics uh, brush, flat shader brush, I'm gonna go ahead and take some concealer and we're gonna cut the crease. Um, I just went ahead and just fast forward this part because um, it does take time, especially I'm dealing with a smaller brush. So just take your time and just carve out that lid portion. That way you can have a snatch cut crease. So I'm going to go in with the Doses Colors Desi Times Katie a collab. And we're going to go in with a moment with that blue color. And this brush that I'm using is the C23 pointed uh, lip. It's a lip brush, but it's a pointer brush. So um, this one's from Crown Brushes. So just go ahead and apply that to where we had applied the concealer to cut the crease. Next shade we're going to go into is Game Over, and this is a beautiful black shimmer shade. Really beautiful, and just go ahead and put that on the outer edge where we can fill in that rest of the concealer and blend that with the black eyeshadow to make it more seamless. So I went ahead and did my liner and put lashes on and I'm going back in with the Soft Glam palette and we're going with Rustic and just go ahead and put that in the bottom lash line to kind of fade everything out and make the lower lash line super smoky. Going in with an Alamar flat, uh, flat shader brush we're going in with noir from the soft glam palette and we're just going to put that in our uh, lower lash line to make it even more smokier next next we're going in with foundation i'm going in with the air flash from dior and we're just going to spray that on our face only on the upper half and just go ahead and blend that out with a beauty blender and now with a different foundation, the Dior Skin Forever in the shade 021, I'm going to apply that to the skin. This shade is a little too light for me at the moment, so I figured if I'm doing a school look, I kind of want you know my skin to kind of be a little more lighter than what it is now. So just go ahead and blend that out as well with a beauty blender and just focus it on the top part of your face. Going in with concealer, we're gonna go ahead and conceal those bags because I don't wanna look at those bags. <laughs> so just go ahead and put that in the high point areas of your face and a little bit down your nose and we'll blend that out again with our beauty blender. 
Now for the fun part, we're gonna go in with um, NYX Cosmetics 604 in Milk, and we're gonna go ahead and start tracing out where our cheeks bones are. Pretty much we're gonna trace out like a mask for the lower portion of our face. And we're just going to go ahead and do that on both sides. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and fill in that space for the lower portion of our face and just Cover that all in white with our NYX Jumbo Stick in Milk. After we have that all covered on our face, go ahead and take a flat brush and just to sm further smooth out the white portion of the cream. Now taking another NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, we're gonna go in the, with the color Black Bean and another smaller um, flat shader brush and just take up some product and we're gonna pretty much carve out where the mask kind of starts from underneath our eyes. So we want some contrast. So we're gonna add black to both of the divots of our face right there. And just take your time with this. Um, we can always go back and kind of perfect it and make it darker as well. Time for the nose. So when carving out the skull part of the nose, pretty much you can follow the shape of your nose, but when you um, start to go up with uh, the black shade, just make two triangles and make one more higher than the other portion. That way um, it can be more skull-like and then just fill this part in. And you can always just play around with it. It took me a few times to kind of get it the way I want it to look. Okay, going more in with this black shade, um, we're gonna start carving out the lines for our mouth where we're gonna end up drawing the teeth, which is pretty fun. It's really time consuming, but um, the end result is pretty cool and I'm obsessed with doing skull looks. So just um, just follow the, the line of your natural lips from the corners and just fill the line out to your cheeks. So um, for hollows, the skulls always have like a hollow um, areas in it. So I just put it kind of, you know, in front of my ear and just kind of um, follow the natural bone structure. Of, of your face that you know where your cheeks bones are and when doing this skull I did reference um, Crispy who is a youtuber and she had done this skull I think a uh, last year or two years ago I, I can't remember but um, yeah you just, pretty much you can always find other people or actually look up what a skull looks like um, and just kind of carve everything out where you kind of want the darkness and lightness to show, show through when you're kind of adding um, shades to to your face okay going in with um, I believe this is like a lip brush we're gonna go ahead and start drawing some lines for our teeth so go ahead and kind of start off in the middle and just draw a line straight down um, you can always elongate it as far as you want, um, closer to your like chin area, like the middle point, you can do that. So where we have the line horizontally, just go ahead and start um, putting uh, lines up and down all the way through where we have that line going across our face. Okay, to make the teeth, you kind of want to fill in so where it's kind of squared off, 
fill it in kind of like um, a V shape and then you want to drag up from the lines you kind of just want to drag it up into like either a point or just like some squiggly line kind of going up which is fine because um, we're gonna add more white and black and so we're gonna make everything pop even more so it doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that this is just you know go with the flow Going in with Noir again, which is our black um, eyeshadow, I'm going to take that lip brush and just deepen um, where I put that um, NYX Jumbo Pencil, that black cream, and we're going to make everything more precise and just follow the lines that we had already created for the skull. Going in with a flat shader brush, we're just going to go ahead and add these colors to the outer portion, kind of where the teeth end, and we're just going to shade um, that out. And pretty much everywhere we put the black, we want to put more shading to that to make the teeth pop even more. Taking that white shade again, we're gonna take that lip brush and add it to the teeth. So the whole point in the skull is always to have a contrast between the black and white. Or if you're using other colors, you always want you know a contrast for certain things to pop forward and not to be you know seen behind where it's not showing through. So just go ahead and add that to every single tooth that we've drawn. Next, I'm taking the Urban Decay uh, Midnight Cowboy Glitter, and I'm gonna add that um, above where the curve of pretty much where the mask kind of starts, just to add some glitter, because um, I need some glitter in my life. <laughs> So with not adding more product to one of my brushes, I have um, the black shade which now looks more of a gray and just going to add that above the mouth to give more of a shade, like a contrast and just go ahead and blend this all the way out. With this look, I did add some cracks to the chin. Um, for some whatever reason, I wasn't able to record it, but this is the finished look, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.